Hi Libra, welcome to your monthly reading for um, October 17th through November 17th. So this month we're going to do a general theme first, and then we'll get into the areas of your family, your home life, your health, your money, your job, your friendships, um, if you're single, your love life, and then also if you're coupled, your love life. Um, so first thing I wanted to say is thank you so much for trying this out, for watching my videos. If you're new, if you've been here before, you're the reason why I keep doing these. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, um, because this reading is for a whole month long, if something clicks for you right away, take that. But other things, because it's general for a lot of Libras watching this, um, some things are just not going to fit. And, you know, the only way to get, like, a super accurate reading is to get a personal one. No pressure there. Just saying, you know, keep in mind it's general. Now, um, the other thing is that um, sometimes when it's for a whole month, you might watch something now when it first comes out, and then there's things in the reading that don't make sense. But if you come back to it in a couple of weeks and you watch it again, all of a sudden, click, 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 everything makes sense because those things hadn't yet happened, okay? Now, um, the whole point of doing it is not to tell the future or anything like that. It's saying, here is the scenario. Here's what you're dealing with. And if you are to make choices this way or to make choices this way, which way are you going to have a better outcome, okay? Because we want to, that's how I read. I channel angel messages, okay? So I can pass those along to you so that you can move towards your light, towards your own happiness and stuff like that. Now, I might not be the reader for some of you. There's lots of other good readers on YouTube if that's the case. If we don't just if we just don't click, that's okay. That's fine. Everybody has a different style. But if we do, please like the video, share them with your friends, um, continue to comment on those. I always reply to those. Um, it's really good feedback, whether it's negative or positive. And then um, subscribe so that you will get these videos or you'll get alerted to when they come out. And that's particularly important this month just because next month there will be an announcement about a really cool project we're doing that you can choose to get involved in. It's free um, if you want to, and it can make you famous. So, yay! Uh, what else did I want to say? I guess that's it. We'll just get started. Okay, so I was shuffling these before I hit record a little bit, and if you've seen my videos before, you know me, like I just shuffle as we're going along. Okay, I keep my hands busy. But this card jumped right out of the deck. So before we even get to the general overarching, like overarching message here, um, somebody needs to hear this. So you got this, girl. <laughs> when I say girl, like it doesn't have to be a girl. It could, but it's just you might be not feeling super confident that you can do this, that you can do what you have to do, that you can succeed, but you can. And it's one of those things where you need to really believe that. You need to fake it till you make it, kind of. You know, it's like dress for the job that you want, not for the one that you have. That's how you have to be with your confidence. Pretend like you got shit under control and you will have shit under control. Don't live in fear that you don't. Um, if you're coming from a place of like, lack mentality, worry, anxiety, you're just going to draw more of that in with the law of attraction, okay? Now, it is good. You see how she has the black cat on her shoulder? It is good to um, think things through, to be suspicious sometimes, to wonder whether or not what you're doing is the right decision, you know, obviously. Um, not being unrealistic. Keeping those close, though, but it's not right in front of her. You know, she's listening. She's paying attention, but she's going to do what she's going to do. She's got her walking stick. The cat is sometimes looking in the same direction as her and sometimes turning its head and looking the other way, right? It pivots. So sometimes shit's going to be thrown at you. Sometimes it's not. But you have to be confident either way. And if you're not confident yet, you need to fake it till you make it. Start s making positive affirmations so that you do eventually feel more confident and brave in moving forward um, towards whatever goal it is you're trying to achieve. So it's a very specific message maybe for one or two or 20 of you. But if it clicks, take that please. Pay attention. Okay. Now, what is your overall message for the month. Okay, let's see, Libras. And you know, if that's, the, that's what I forgot to mention. Oh, did you see that little angel just shoot right by? Okay, so whenever angels do that, whenever they show up in videos and they just fly around, 
Um, typically, it's at a point in the video where somebody who's watching this needs to pay attention to this part. So there is somebody out there who needs to watch either their moon sign or their rising sign instead of their sun sign. Do you see that again? So hopefully you know who you are. <laughs> um, if your name is Megan, you're one of them. Lauren, another one. Um, but I'm sure there's a handful of other ones of you too. So anyway, but I'm getting Megan and Lauren. And like a Oliver or Olivia, somebody with an O name. Anyway, but I mean probably everybody should, really. Your rising sign is more about work, life, and stuff like that, how other people view you. And then your moon sign is going to be about your emotions. So if you're particularly concerned about your love life or um, like your interactions with humans and your feelings associated with that, I will watch my moon sign. Again, are you guys seeing these? I hope that you do when you see the video. Or anyway. Okay, so what is your message? The overall theme for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Oh my gosh, you have so much shit going on. So much. You have a number message right now too that I'm going to look up for you. Sorry, I want to get to the reading, but you just have so much like angel interference, which is awesome because that's how we read here. But okay, it says put God and spirituality at the center of your life because then everything will take care of itself. So kind of like what we were talking about with that first message that jumped right out about um, fake it till you make it, confidence, like things will just fall into place in, in line for you. Okay, here we go. Let's get to your reading. <laughs> At some point today, six minutes into the video, jeepers, courage. Now, how crazy is that? That's exactly where we started, isn't it? I find inner strength to face fear with confidence. Okay, say it. Say it. I am confident. I can do this. I am smart. I am brave. I am bold. I am wise. I can do it. Okay, that you need to like an affirmation this month um, <laughs> over and over and over in your head. Keep repeating that stuff to yourself until it's true. Do you see how this card is purple? Purple is about your divine intuition. It's about God. It's about Allah, angels, spirit guides, that sort of a thing. They are trying so hard to talk to you right now. Pay attention. Believe in them. Trust. Okay, so here we go. What's going on in your family life? Now, your family could be your actual family or the people that you um, consider to be family that you surround yourself with. We had three cards just jump out all at once in one little clump. And before I look at those, um, I just feel like there's more that needs to come out here. So we'll look at it all at once. Okay. And they're face down. So we'll just see, see how they come out as we go through them. Okay, so first little scenario here. Three of Pentacles in reverse. Some of you are either um, like going through a divorce yourself or someone within your family is getting a divorce and somehow that's affecting your life. So it could be your parents. It could be your sister. It could be your cousin. Somehow, though, there's some sort of a divorce or separation, like a breakup of a marriage um, that is having some effect on your own family life. And everyone's really sad about it. Nobody wished for this to happen. Nobody's like celebrating like, yay. Everybody's disappointed. It's like exactly opposite of what we would have liked to see happen. And it's because we had this idea of what life was supposed to look like, laying plans. Like, you know, this is how life is supposed to look. You get married. You have two kids. Um, dad works. Mom stays home. Um that child, those children are raised in like this wonderful environment where everything is predictable and stable, very traditional. There's money to retire with. We can send our kids to college. And now you're like, see this slipping away. You're like, that didn't fucking happen, right? It's heartbreaking. Um, but there's not actually cards here of sadness. It's more like the sadness is associated not to necessarily the... Um, that the relationship is ending it's what it means for the whole picture for the whole family does that make sense for what life was supposed to look like according to you or to everybody else you know what you wanted it to be and so so that's where the heartbreak really is um now the challenge within that situation in the family whether that's your own personal situation or a situation that you're involved in or you're observing that you're seeing the fallout of, like perhaps it's your sibling and they need help um, because maybe they were going to be that stay-at-home parent, right? 
and now all of a sudden they separate and have to get a job and need help. You need to help babysit nieces and nephews, stuff like that. It could be anything like that. Um, but it's just saying taking actions, doing what's right. Um, like knowing what is the right thing to do and then taking those steps. It's challenging to do that. It's challenging to know. And more than even knowing like how to help others, how to be supportive, knowing what to do, it's hard to actually physically do it. Because there's a lot of chicken and the egg scenario. If this, then this, right? Um, there's a little bit of fear and worry. It's like cognitively you know that it's the right thing, but you just don't know how to go about it. And so it's about courage, finding inner strength, feeling the fear, and just doing it anyway. Um, for some of you, it's like... You're having a hard time moving, like moving house, moving jobs, getting a new job, things like that. Um, it's just really, really breaking your heart because you had your mind set on like how life was supposed to look and all of these changes are overwhelming, but you have to be brave. You just do. Okay. Um, so what happens if you're not brave, if you just sit back and you're passive? well, you're not doing yourself any favors. You know, you're not going to cause more chaos with the other people involved, okay? Because you're definitely not a bitch. You're not. You are so kind. You are um, really, really a kind person, but you're not helping yourself at all. Um, it says, you know, like, by not finding your inner strength and your courage, it's not that's not going to put things back. That's not going to recreate your version of happily ever after. Okay? Because there's a lot of elements going into like how something is supposed to look. Like how things appear on the outside are not how they feel on the inside. Does that make sense? So if you had this vision of how you wanted your relationship and your life to go, perhaps um, it wouldn't feel good, though, when you're in it. Every day would be sad and heartbreaking, right? So you just have to have the courage to um, do what has to be done, to just accept things as they are. I'm sorry, that's really hard. And for those of you who are still hanging in there watching this video and that doesn't apply to you, thank you for your patience. But whoever needed to hear that, they just needed to. Okay, what's going on? in your home life, which could be your physical home or the people in your home. Having to make tough decisions, duh, we already know that, right? <laughs> but there's something there that you're refusing to look at. Like you can make a decision, you just don't have the bravery right now. Um, and also it's like, you don't wanna have to worry. It's like, oh, do you see that little angel? Again, oh my gosh. I don't think anybody else, Capricorn had, maybe one in their video, but otherwise there hasn't, there haven't been angels showing up in videos consistently like this. Like we, I think Scorpio a few months ago had them all over the place, but, um, so this is maybe a heavy reading for some of you, but I'm glad that you're taking the time to watch it then because there's some important nuggets here. <laughs> um, so this whole idea of, oh darn it, I mixed it back in there, with the two of swords, um, not wanting to take the blindfold off and make a choice when you have, you know, at least two options there because usually her swords are like, are like this, they're crossed, okay? Um, with that, it says you're just, even though things are uncomfortable and they have to change, the, the predictability of knowing what to expect is a little bit more comfortable than having to feel the anxiety and the fear of the unknown of what's coming. So you know that it's not good whatever this thing is, that a change needs to be made, but you're hesitant to make it. So it's saying find the courage because you actually don't have to have anxiety or fear or worry over things you can't control anyway. You just do your best every day with what you can. Trust in God, trust in Allah, trust in the spirit guides, trust in the angels, okay? Because they want to guide you. They're trying to give you messages, like through your third eye, that purple chakra color, Okay. Which is obvious, they're trying to give you messages because they're flying all over the place. Now, um, it says, 
you are going to feel best if you really decide what is important to you and protect that one thing. Okay, pick one area of focus and then, you know, hold that in your hands and really protect it. Put all of your emotions into that. So for a lot of you, um, if you're mothers or fathers, that's going to be your babies. Put, put all of your thought and energy and time into like your emotional time and your decision making into what is best for this child. What is um, the best scenario for this tiny person or, or this um, job or this idea that I care about. Whatever it is that you truly care about that you're surrounding with your emotions you know, that one thing that you really love, that's where, what you need to protect right now. That's what your focus needs to be when you're trying to make these choices. Um, now, we also have the Four of Cups coming up here. It's like some of you are waiting to make a decision because you're waiting to see if other options or ideas come to you ab about what to do. But it's like, no, you know what? You already, it's A or it's B make a choice. C and D and E and F and G are not coming. And even if they do, it just makes things more confusing, right? It's just time. It's time to have the faith and the courage to make a decision. Um, what's going on in regards to your friendships for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising? Okay, so friendships can totally help you out. When they offer to help you, take advantage of that. Um, don't feel guilty, okay? You just feel like maybe the timing is wrong, things like that. Or you might feel like um, they're just a little bit separated from your friends because your experiences are different from theirs, so how could they possibly understand, right? But they're going to try to understand. They're going to be there for you. So don't hesitate to call a friend and to ask them for advice, to share what you're going through, even if they have no, um, no similar experience, like to offer words of wisdom. Sometimes you just need someone to listen to you, and your friends are definitely willing to do that for you. Um, what else with friendships? Uh, getting together with really old friends, like friends that you might have connected with 10, 15 years ago, even if it's just a phone call, it's going to be very good for you. Um, doing things that you used to do with friends a long time ago, experience that, experiencing that nostalgia will remind you why you're friends in the first place, why your bond is so deep and it will help you to connect. So, you know, this could be like having a sleepover with your bestie like you did when you were 12, Right? Even though you're 35 now, <laughs> and it seems inappropriate and kind of strange, um, it'd be a good experience. Okay, it'll make you much. It'll make you feel better, much lighter. What's going on in regards to your health for Libra, Sun, Moon, and Rising, October 17th through November 17th? Same thing. So if you used to go on walks with your friends, or no, not the same thing. Different six. Sorry, I glanced at it quickly, but. Um, that's something like if you used to go on walks with your friends and things like that, things that you used to do with your friends, take classes together, I would, um, try to take that up again. So, um, with this, with your health being generous with yourself, I know that sounds weird, right? <laughs> but the message here is the more that you give, the more you get back. So, oh, little, little angel right there too, right across my forehead. So, um, the more that you... Invest in yourself the quicker you'll see results. I mean, that's totally obvious, right? It's so stupid and generic. But um, it's it's like, don't... I mean, what else can I say about that? That's so dumb. Duh. Duh. <laughs> maybe, maybe this is just like a message to me. Like, let's not talk about health because it's boring. Um, <laughs> But this is, this is a good card saying it is healthy, though, for you to set up boundaries. To, it's not healthy always to create walls, right? But our brain does that to protect our hearts. And we do need to set boundaries with certain people in our lives is kind of what that's saying. Definitely offer second, third chances. But more than that, nope, up goes the wall. Okay. Um, what's going on in regards to your work life? Anything we need to know about our work lives or Libras? Try to see things from a different perspective. Um, 
somebody else had something like this too, but it's from, from a totally different card. I'm trying to remember who that could have been. Maybe like Pisces, Sagittarius. No, not Sagittarius. Pisces could have been Aquarius. Hmm. But some like about um, like starting a different kind of career that other people wouldn't approve of, like being a stripper, being an escort, being something like that. Somebody's thinking about that. Maybe one of you. And it's totally cool if you don't leave a comment because I know like. The whole thing about judgment. <laughs> but um, it's saying that it's very clear. This is almost the same exact message as, but coming up in a different way, like different cards, as somebody else had. Somebody who came hmm, a couple days ago. Maybe it was a Virgo, somebody like that. But one of those, maybe like, let me try to think here. Could have been Scorpio, Taurus. Anyway. But if you watch that video, if that's like your rising signs, if, if that's clicking two times, maybe it's you. But you'll know because it'll. the rest of you can just throw this part out. But um, it's saying it's not confusing to you that that's kind of the right thing to do because you're not otherwise finding opportunities that are going to create the income that you need in an, in an emergency pinch kind of situation right now at all. Um, it's saying that you're going to feel like you need to defend yourself. And so maybe it's time to keep quiet, but actually this is going to be your escape. This is going to be what sets you up financially and um, kind of puts you in the right path for now. It's kind of what de-stresses certain aspects of your life. So it doesn't have to be one of those things. Those are just the things that come to mind about, um, like, it's, the, it's not anything illegal, though. Okay, I want to get that out there. It's something like totally legal that other people could know about. It's just that you keep your mouth shut because maybe they judge you. Um, but it's something like with your body, though. So it's like go-go dancer. It's like being like a Jägermeister girl, like at the bar, like with your boobs out, like selling beer. It's something like that. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry. Very specific. But whoever needed to hear that, they, they need to know, like, it's okay. It's okay. Um, for for the rest of you, though, what's going on in regards to your job? Um, not a good time to change jobs or move for your job, but it is a good time to express to your workplace like what you need. So I need more time to complete my work. I need more money. I need more help with this or that or whatever. Okay. What else? Oops. So this is saying whatever you want, you have to think about it positively. We need to um, make affirmations and just believe that they're going to come true so that they do. This is a very powerful card, Law of Attraction, infinite possibilities, as you can see with the infinity symbol above his head. Now, whatever it is that we worry about, that we stress about, are the things that we're going to bring into our life. So we need to make sure that we're thinking positively about our career in specific. So, um, you know, for example, if you don't like your boss, you need to, like, send your boss love. You need to be, you think about something positive about them, okay, like on the daily. Um, it's challenging to change the way that we think about things, the way that we do things. Um, but this is really going to be for your benefit is what that's saying. Because you see all those little flowers here on the death card? Death is not endings, it's new beginnings. And so we need to begin to think about what we do want and to powerfully manifest like these blessings into our life. Sorry, my computer screen just went blank. Okay, and we're back in. Um, what's going on in regards to your money this month? Some of you maybe need to leave a job that isn't working out for you. You need a better schedule, something like that, but you just can't do it right now because of um, because of the fear. But you have to have that courage. It's saying it's okay this month to stay there, but you need to start thinking about what it is that you do want or how can you change your current environment and situation. We have, um, like in November, like mid-November, November 17th, or moving forward, is a good time to take on a new job. So now is just a good time to look, but not necessarily take it up, okay? 
uh, that because more money is to come then. And even if you stay in the same job, having those conversations like we talked about can garnish you like more money, can bring you more money. Um, but this is, for a lot of you, this is going to be like a new adventure. This is going to be like a new job, like a new opportunity or um, a new opportunity within the place that you're at to make a lot of money to um, grow. This is about maybe starting your own business, opening up like an Etsy store with, store with your crafts that you make. It's something like that, but something with a lot of potential for growth that is exciting, that is creative, that is kind of your own little baby. Um, what do we have for our love lives? For those of you who are single Libra, Sun, Moon, or Rising, everything's cool. Everything's stable. Um, this is the time right now, like if you are single, I mean, you're obviously single, but if you are not looking to get pregnant, be very cautious against that. This is a time of increased fertility for you. You could have little bunnies bouncing all over the house right now. You see those rabbits there all nestled up together. Um, but yeah, this is a time of happiness and just feeling comfortable. You might be feeling good about being single and that's okay. Some of you are not feeling so good about it. Some of you are heartbroken, sad, disappointed. Um, it's like, you know, a knife through your heart right now. But you also know deep in your heart that this, wherever you came from, like whoever you just broke up with or whatever, or maybe it wasn't even just broke up with. Maybe you're that person who's working on their divorce. This has been a long time coming. Um, you know, though, that this is the right thing. You feel it in your gut. But it doesn't stop it from being sad, right? What else? Um, new ideas. New ideas about what your new life is going to look like, what your stability is going to look like, how your life is going to change as a result. Um, you might get opportunities coming to you, phone calls, emails, like headhunters might be saying, or, you know, and this could even be in regards to um, people saying, hey, so I heard you're single now. <laughs> um, but... But unless you feel like a strong emotional connection to any of these people like coming into your life, you're probably not, it's just going to be another stressor, okay? That's kind of what that's about. Whoa. Okay. So this is interesting because these cards came out together earlier, I believe. Um, give, though. Be generous with other people. Because what you give out, whether that's time, energy, love, um, you'll get it back like threefold. Um, but be careful who you're giving to. Be careful who you are um, caring for. I mean, we should care about all people, right? But we should not let people take advantage of us. And do you remember that card where the lady had the little fish in the thing and she needed to nurture that you same thing here like what is your baby if if your baby is your work um focus on that if your baby is an actual baby focus on that if you're whatever it is you just really need to focus on the thing that matters most to you and everything else is just bullshit and just kind of like um life circumstance and happenstance right now you know, there are just other things that are affecting your life and your focus. But just focus on that one thing right now this month. Then we can take other things and bring them into the, I don't know if you saw that little angel too. Um, then, then come November 15th, we can start thinking about other things and bringing those in. But we just have to ha be hyper-focused on that one thing right now. Um, what's going on for coupled Libras? We've got... Ten of Swords, so some hurt, disappointment, um, maybe feeling attacked, maybe feeling like um, a little bit of resentment too, but ultimately like a lot of defeat. You know, like <clears throat> it, it's almost like your partner knew that this thing was going to hurt you, whether it was something they said, something they did, um, and it did, you know. Um, but that's the part that hurts the most, is they knew it. Maybe they thought you wouldn't find out. Maybe they um, didn't realize how much it was going to hurt. But, but it hurts that you know, that they knew. 
that it would hurt you, right? And so you're trying to figure out how to get over this and um, work things out with them and start fresh, wipe this slate clean. But they're, but a part of you is like, are they being sly? Like, are they being sneaky? Like, there's a little bit of distrust right now in the relationship for some of you. Um, <clears throat> but I think that goes away if you just decide to have fun. Just have fun with your partner. Like, do things together. Be spontaneous. That sort of a thing. And also the spontaneity of doing things. It's not... Um, you have a number message too right now saying that um, positivity, having positive thought processes, like believing in our partner is going to help. Um, but for those of you that don't have trust like in their fidelity or something like that, that spontaneity, like it can't be like, oh, well, hey, on a whim, let's go do this because I want to catch you in something. Like showing up um, at their house or their workplace unannounced and looking through their phone. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm saying like togetherness time. Like, hey, Right now, let's go do this super fun thing. And you'll see, like, they're not going to, they're going to be into it. They're, they're going to be focused on you. They're not going to be distracted, like, <coughs> um, trying to let other people know where they are and what they're doing, you know, like, making plans. They're going to, they're going to appreciate you. They're going to appreciate that. It might not be as bad as you think, okay? This is saying that some people, some of you in relationships, you might think that some, like, your partner is tempted to cheat. But this is saying that they're actually not. Um, and some of them, it just seems like maybe somebody is a threat to your relationship, but actually um, they're not so much a threat as you think they are. Okay. Um, it just is like for others of you, anything that's going on, like with the hurt and that pain in your relationship is just because work-life balance is screwed up. You just don't feel like you're getting enough attention or something like that, okay? Or maybe you were hurt because your partner didn't stick within the budget and you asked them very specifically to do that. So um, this month, though, you can come out of that. You can. It's just finding that balance, that balance between work and life and all your responsibilities. It says that it's actually not going to be that hard to heal and recover and, you know, fix whatever's upset you this month with your partner as you think it is it's only going to be super hard and challenging if you believe it's going to be it's actually going to be pretty simple to recover from but it's about having the right mindset and getting enough sleep um, some of you are thinking yourself up into a tizzy and you're not sleeping enough and so it makes you extra irritable and cranky and um, more on the offense kind of makes you like pick apart what your partner's saying when really they're just saying things generally um, it's just a period of bad luck, but if you communicate like from a very emotional place, if you offer out love, if you extend your hand out to them, um, they're likely to take it and, you know, like the opportunity and run with it. And it's not confusing to them. They want this to work. They love you. They want to be with you. Like that's all very clear to them. Um, but like a little bit of fun needs to be had. You have to do something fun together, um, spontaneously. And then um, you'll see positive results from that. So, hi. Um, so last thing here is you just want to um, make sure that you're doing that. Okay, go out, have fun, be spontaneous. And um, I will see you guys soon. See you tomorrow, actually. Bye.